Are you a man leading a life? Have you ever been put in front of something where you had to overcome it? You keep taking action upon action and keep experiencing failure upon failure, but you're not letting up. In fact, you keep failing and failing and failing and keep learning and keep interpreting and keep going at it until ultimately you are successful and succeed with whatever you are failing at. As in, are you gripping life by the horns as it's bull rushing you relentlessly at any apparent time and just not letting go of that grip until you tire that bull out, until you tame it. The wake of your life is like the wake of a boat. It's nothing more than a trail left behind. The wake does not drive the boat. The wake is not driving your life. Dr. Wayne Dyer. So I'm going to take it that you notice that I bring kind of a calming vibe with these videos, with my teachings and everything I write about. Just I bring that very I try to bring that very calm vibe, but I also interpret sailboats. The intention of realizing that life is smooth sailing for every man out there. Every man is a smooth man, and life is just naturally set up for those smooth sailing guidelines. But whatever body of water you are sailing on is never going to be flat as glass when you are sailing on it. Some days it's going to be very choppy. Some days you're going to have to go right through those giant wakes and not look back because you are intensively going in a direction away from that. You are leading your own individual self past the conundrums and onto those beautiful horizons. You know, it's kind of funny when I really got into like learning about stuff that really helped me get through rough times in my life, it wasn't from some self-help author, a book, some video, or some kind of a teaching. It was through my grandpa. So I'm a little bit under of being half Dutch. My mom's half Dutch and my grandparents come from the Netherlands and my grandpa sailed. And though he didn't really explain a lot about sailboating when I was younger because I was just so young, I just kind of put the pieces together and took my own initiative to really educate myself on it when I got a lot older. And I came upon these types of sayings with smooth sailing and just learning how to interpret it stuff with sailing as well. Learning about all the basic goes abouts and whatever with it. I've been around boats my whole life. I've worked at marinas and dealt with any type of boat you could really think of. Huge yachts, cigarette boats, huge sailboats. And what I have correlated when I was going through a rough time compared to my work of that of boating is taking initiative in life. Because whatever you are driving on a body of water, if you're in control of whatever it is, you have to take initiative. There's no question about it. Or else you're just gonna get washed up on shore or eaten up by a wave, getting caught in those wakes left behind, huh? And when any man takes any initiative within his life, he's doing stuff without even being told to do so. He puts it together exactly of what he needs to know and goes right through life, no matter how tough it comes at him. And personally, what I've learned going through life, taking initiative, being a leading man within my life, is taking advantage of certain opportunities that come upon myself that are noticed by myself that are completely passed by others. Because not everyone you meet is gonna put in the legwork and intentively take advantage of opportunities that come on within their life and lead. Some are just gonna pass them by, some are gonna think it's way too hard to contemplate within their head even before they take any type of action. But you see, that's exactly what's gonna set you apart. That's what's gonna lead you to that fulfillment within life. When you take that initiative, when you dive into those difficult but overcomable situations that you are faced with within life, that people just pass along because they are just too fearful of it. And just keeping that enthusiasm going all through it as the middle of you is leading yourself through it all. But of course, be proud of every accomplishment that you accomplish within your life. You can boast about it a little bit. You can express it out there, express how grateful you are for overcoming the gratitude you have towards yourself, as in having that natural knowing that life is happening for you and not to you. Life's simply not just one objective that you're going to overcome within your life. It's not going to be some big grand thing that once you've overcome it, it's just going to be completely centered and calm for you. It's a constant, constant abruptness that's coming at you. And all it is, it's conditioning you. Conditioning you to realize how naturally you are put here to navigate smoothly throughout your life. So be the man you are leading in life. Take initiative. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Grab life by the horns and tame that beast. Take on those obstacles that come upon you that everyone is just pushing off to the side because they're way too fearful to even face it themselves. Take that. 
use it to your advantage and just relax. It's just another day in the life and it shouldn't even phase you. Saint Perigine, patron saint of all forms of cancer. We ask you for your help in asking God to heal my cancer and keep it in remission. Pray for me so that I may live a long and faithful life.